Hello, I am Colonel Alok Asthana, a retired army officer. Speaking on the protests that one sees now against the NRC and CAA, I have 26 years of service in the Indian Infantry, raised and commanded an RR battalion in JNK in the mid-90s when problems in JNK were at their peak. Okay, let's immediately get down to the brass tacks. These protests are not just about NRC and CAA. These two events are just triggers that have activated deep resentment against the government over their acts of the last five and a half years. It takes time for resentment to accumulate. So what all has accumulated? Overall, what has accumulated is a general feeling that the government is working overtime on the wrong issues. They have been working overtime on issues that have not been troubling all 130 crores Indians enough in their daily quest of life, that is the roti, kapla and makan, the status of Kashmir, citizenship for refugees and check of citizenship documents of all 130 crores Indians have very definitely not been troubling the whole nation. And further, it is not that the government has been doing all this in their spare time and from money from the BJP funds. On the contrary, they have been devoting immense time and energy and national resources to this, all at the expense of requirements of something that the 130 crore Indians indeed seek in their daily quest of roti kapla or makan. And what is that one sweet spot that they are seeking? It is economy and one of its more important parts, jobs. On these two important needs of a citizen, it is now established that the situation is not just bad, but critical. In economy, we have slid back by 30 years to be in the 1990s situation. And in employment status, we are back by 45 years. And this devastating disclosure is all as per government reports only. For details, please look up the report and interview of Arvind Subramaniam on NDTV and elsewhere. And you know that Arvind Subramaniam is none else but the chief economic advisor. No, no, not of Rahul Gandhi, but of Shri Modi for some four years. He has been an economist of the Indian International Monetary Fund and has been named as one of the world's 100 global thinkers. Well, it can't be that he is wrong on economics, but Nirbala Sitaraman is right. So, that is the crux of the protest. In a nutshell, it is a general re rejection of the wrong and harmful direction of the government away from the betterment of India and turning deeply towards harm of India. And why do I say that the government has been very harmful in India? Is CAA and NRC really so bad? Once again, it is not so much a matter of just NRC and CAA. Primarily, it is a matter of discriminating between Muslims and others. That's the heart of the harm that these people are out to do. In everything unofficial since 2014, but now also official, the government policy has been to downgrade the Muslim. The most powerful indicator of this inclination is now official. Indians stand that other refugees are allowed in India, but not Muslims. I do not see how any Indian can see it as equal treatment of Hindus and Muslims. You just can't. And if Hindus and Muslims are not equal, the whole thing is off, at least to me. That is not what I signed up for. India does not belong to Hindus. India belongs to all Indians. To say that if the Muslims kowtow right, the Hindus will be nice to them is a horrible idea. There is no question of anyone living on the mercy of others. Just forget it. 
different treatment of Muslims. It's not just injustice to Muslims who are fellow Indians. It is explosive material for India. Let no one think that it is a small matter. Once that basic difference really solidifies, one community will be killing other amidst very, very cruelly. Hatred will just keep piling up, which will blow up India in just a few years. We must not forget how fairly decent Germans could kill millions of Jews so heartlessly after the Nazis succeeded in drilling down the belief that Jews were indeed harming Germany. As a Fauci, even though retired, I see it as my duty to do what I can to fight this menace. With so many students, academics and young artists like Sora Bhaskar joining the protests at great personal risk, it would be cowardly for a retired Fauci like me to shy away. After all, in the NDA prayers that are recited every day in the National Defense Academy from 1969 to 1973, I did shout loudly on a daily basis, O oh God, strengthen us to guard our country from external aggressions and internal disorders. So here I am. As for you, please decide on your own. If anyone was to ask my advice, I'd say just one thing. Communicate your views, whatever they may be, in as many public forums as you can. Speak, comment, discuss and write with a sense of urgency. So get on, decide on your response to this important issue, whatever it may be, and jump right in. I end here with sharing two mottos I set for my troops when I was in command. One was, abhi nahi to kabhi nahi. If not now, never. And the other was, dehi shiva var mohi ihe, shubh karman te kabahun adarun. Oh Lord, give me the boon that I never flinch from good deeds. Thank you. Jai Hind.